95% of Americans suffer from sleep nonophobia. An average person combats this with an alarm clock. For some people, this just doesn't make the cut. It just won't wake you up. So I plan to solve that problem with an air horn. Ow. Now this clock is from Walmart. <laughs> It has a little bit of problems. You can do it, buddy. Come on. You got this clock. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, let's go. Oh. It's okay. <laughs> it is quite possibly the worst alarm clock in the history of the world, but I guess that's what you- SHUT UP! Hey, it works now. First off the bat, we're not doing this digitally. I did not want to take a servo, because quite frankly, I couldn't find a freaking servo that's powerful enough to push an air horn. So we have to do, the old-fashioned way, a Rube Goldberg machine. It'll look cooler that way anyways. So here's the game plan. This string inside the alarm clock will pull a wheel that will roll down a line on a paper, which will land on top of an air horn that frightens a little guy with three hairs. Let's do this, fricker. <laughs> I'm gonna get into this clock and see what makes a tick. Pun. Here is the Primo Dino. This is what we need. When you get this clock to alarminate and make a noise, it just rotates. See that? Look at that mechanism. It's just a spinning motor. That means we can attach a spool to it that'll rotate, that'll suck in a string, that will then make the wheel roll down the line and land on the air horn and scare the guy with three heads. Three hairs change of plans, there's gonna be no grace period for you to turn it off before the air horn goes. We're going straight air horn because how else are you gonna wake up? Yeah! Okay, if my hypothesis is correct, this will stop it from getting sucked all the way in. Ow! Oh, why is it so cold? Now it's time for the now it's time for the Rube Goldberg machine. <laughs> what are you looking at? This is not from any other video, gosh darn it. It's brand new. Handmade. With love and care. It's not guacamole on it. <laughs> My ears have just been physically assaulted by the air horn. It works. Let's get this air horn into place. With zip time. So now. These are called channel locks. They are perfect pliers to squeeze this, which requires less force. Why do we have a rubber band? It keeps constant tension. That way when it, if something lands on it, it'll press down the button, but keep holding until you wake up. Now all we need is the clock to be mounted here and have a track for the duct tape wheel to fall down on the pliers. done guys. I finished it. The air horn alarm clock is completely finished and ready to rumble. I have it set. <laughs> so anytime now it'll go off and scare the bajinkers out of you. This will be the ultimate waking up machine. It works quite flawlessly too. Hey guys, it's Future Randall here, here to clarify that it didn't work at all. I lied, it didn't even work flawlessly didn't work. Having the weak motor from the alarm clock pull the stopper from under the duct tape was a horrible idea. First of all, it was the hardest thing in the world to set, and even if you could get it set, there's a chance that the duct tape would be on it too hard that it couldn't even pull out. So you might set it and not even wake up in the morning. The other thing that could happen is it could fall out, which I experienced at 1.30 in the morning. The air horn went off at 1.30 in the morning and I was woken up. It was horrible. Here's security camera footage. I'll blur it, but you can listen and you can see the timestamp in it. Yeah, so you see it. It's horrible. I hate it. So I decided to come back and make some big changes, basically. I came back, I made some changes, kept the same frame, but changed a few aspects of it. Here she is. Model 2, baby. I kept the same air horn in the same place, 
with the channel locks as tensioners to hold this puppy down. I don't want to do it because I am afraid of the air horn sound now. I'm, I'm terrified of it. Basically all I did was I took the motor outside of the alarm clock, remember for the dinger mechanism? Attached the dinger with... I, I hot glued the dinger, the dinger hammer, I think that sounds so wrong. I hot glued the hammer thingy onto the motor which then spins when the alarm clock is activated when wherever you set it to. So let me just show you how this works really quick. Okay, I'm about to turn it on. Pay close attention to the motor. Oh my gosh, it vibrates. What a good idea. I know. It's so much safer that way. And it won't wake you up at 1.30 in the morning. Why would that not happen? Because the vibrations allow you to jam something under there a lot harder. I have this plastic stopper here. I can safely secure it on. Look, at it's not coming out. The beauty of it is nothing will knock this out in the night on accident. Once the alarm clock is activated, it starts vibrating. You give it a few, oh shoot, it's gonna actually go off. Give it some, oh wait, I don't need to yell. Give it some time, but you're sleeping, so this doesn't even matter. You don't even realize this happens. It's making a turn. I still hate it, but it works. I'm emotionally scarred. Here's some footage of it properly working and waking me up in the morning. There you go guys, it works. It wakes you up in the morning. I can give it a 100% chance of waking you up and making you possibly poop your pants. But hey, if you need to wake up, you gotta do what you gotta do. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment.